Cropping is useful when you wish to cut away unnecessary edges from one or more pages in a document. A cropped page will always be smaller than the original. Naturally, in PixEdit, you can also increase the page size in Menu, Page, Size, but that's covered in another video here at PixEdit.com. You can crop pages to standard sizes such as letter or legal, to defined sizes, or indicated sizes by using guidelines or selected areas. If you just want to cut away one edge, you may simply want to use a single guideline. To crop more than one page, or even entire document, first select Pages in Composition View. It is a good idea to click the Stack Image button to look at the summary of pages you are about to crop. But back to cropping. This is the Crop Tool. In this example, four guidelines are inserted because we are going to cut away all edges. Guidelines are inserted by double-clicking the rulers. If you just want to cut away one single edge, insert only one guideline. To move a guideline, simply drag the guideline to its new position. To remove a guideline, right-click the guideline to show the menu, and click Remove Guideline. The Guideline menu offers more alternatives such as Recto-Verso mode, magnetic snapping, and other options. Click the Crop button to display the Crop dialog box. Since we inserted guidelines to indicate where to cut, the Crop dialog will offer cropping using the position of your guidelines. If we, for example, had dragged out an area instead, the selected area would be the default choice for cropping. To complete the cropping operation, click OK. As you see, the Crop dialog box offers several methods to cut away edges. So before we crop according to the inserted guidelines, we will look at these possibilities. In this case, the possibility to cut a selected area is grayed out since we have not selected any area. You will learn more about selecting areas in another video. By choosing this option, you can crop selected pages to a fixed standard size such as A5. When choosing a fixed size, you can move this fixed size rectangle to any position like this. If you choose automatic cropping, PixEdit will choose an area that fits tightly around existing graphics on the page. You may therefore want to let PixEdit add a defined white border, a margin, to the final cropped result. Sometimes you may want to just cut away, say, a half an inch from the edges. In this case, you will choose the fixed border option. By default, PixEdit will crop the pages you selected in Composition View. The pages we selected in Composition View have automatically been inserted in the page range selection. You can also manually type in a page range specification. If your document contains pages of different sizes, you may want to let PixEdit avoid cropping pages that are different from the current open page. In that case, check this option. Let's go back to where we started using guidelines and click OK. As you can see, the selected pages have been cropped according to the guidelines. As with most all functions in PixEdit, page cropping can be undone.